One of the biggest issues that service teams face is finding the best way to route cases from customers to agents to allow for an efficient and speedy response time. Salesforce provides numerous functionality that can help improve this process, and we're going to go through a few of them today. First one we're going to showcase is email to case. This is where a customer is going to send an email to an email address that's associated with the service team. That email is then going to generate a case and can be picked up by agents who can then work that case and respond back to the customer. In this scenario here, we have an example email that I put together. We're going to be sending it to the email to case email address that we've created. And we have an issue here. Our air conditioning unit is not working properly and we're trying to get help. So we're going to go ahead and submit this. And we are then going to pop over to Salesforce. Uh, it will take a moment or two for that case to get generated. So while we're waiting for that, just want to showcase that, you know, the service console here that we've created for our kind of sample company, Industrial HVAC, this is going to um, allow you to have access to cases. So agents can come in here, quickly grab cases. They can have numerous list views that will show various uh, case types or potentially dates for cases. In this case, our list view is very simple. We're just looking at everything that's open. But this can be customized in many different ways, uh, and even specific teams can have access to specific list views to uh, help route cases better. So in this case, our new cases have been generated 00001114, air conditioning issue. This is actually the subject of the email I submitted earlier. And the description of this case is the text from the email that I submitted. So if we click into that, the case will open up. And from here, we can start documenting on the case uh, as well as create new contacts, uh, send emails back to the customer. There's lots of different things we can do. So first of all, we'll go ahead and create a contact record. We received this email uh, from an email address, and we know the first and last name of that person uh, based on the email that came in. So we can go ahead and at least create a contact based on that information. You could always add additional information to that contact later on as you learn more about who that person is. So we'll go ahead and create a contact record. That contact record uh, that was created directly from the case is now associated directly to the case. So the case basically contains information on that contact. You could also click into the contact and go directly to that contact record from this case. Now that we've accessed this case and we're working through it, we have our contact created, let's go ahead and populate some of these fields so we can better understand what the issue is. That way, anyone else who's looking at this case can understand more about what's going on. And we could also actually use those values that we're populating here for reporting. So we'll go ahead and set the type. We'll set the equipment type, furnace and air conditioner, and the case reason, which is a breakdown, and then go ahead and save. So now we have updated our case. We have a lot more information now that we are tracking on what's going on here. But as a, a good agent will do is it's not just about updating the case. You actually now need to be able to respond quickly back to the customer. So we, that can be also built directly into this case console. If you go to the chatter section and click on email, you'll see that the original email shows up here and you can respond directly to that email from the case screen itself. So we'll go ahead and pipe, pop a response in here. I actually have one that I had pre-written, so I'll go ahead and populate that. All right, so go ahead and paste that response in and we can go ahead and populate the actual case number here. There are also ways to actually make this case number auto-populate based on merge fields. So that functionality also exists. You can use any values that are on the case can be actually populated into emails via merge fields. So that's definitely a functionality that exists. When we go ahead and submit this email, it is going to send that response directly back to that customer. They can then respond back to the agent directly from that email and essentially create a dialogue between both sides. Also, this information um, from the emails gets stamped on the case. So everyone who is looking at the case, whether it's a manager, whether it's someone else on the agent team, if it's been escalated, whoever that person who's receiving the escalation is, uh, can see what that correspondence was like. So it gets stamped on the chatter section. There's a feed section that's typically on a case that can, you can see this information. Um, and so anyone who is viewing this case, even if it's not the agent who was originally working on it, will know what has been happening, what that correspondence has looked like, and can respond properly back to that customer once they've accessed the case. So as you can see, the email to case functionality is very straightforward, allows for customers to directly contact agents uh, using email, receive responses directly back from the agents, and it also allows agents to quickly pick cases up and start working on them um, and update them properly, and then hopefully resolve the issue that the customer is having.